morning. Welcome to St. James's Episcopal Church on this All Saints Sunday and our celebration of Holy Eucharist, Rite 2, and Holy Baptism. Our opening acclamation is in the Book of Common Prayer on page 299 or in your bulletin. <clears throat> Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one one Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God, one Lord of all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will read from Psalm 34, verses 1 through 10, and 22 responsibly, by half verse, found on page six, uh, 622, sorry, 627, prayer. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. And delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant. And let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me. And saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him. And he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I have your faith and trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. For those who seek the Lord lack nothing in their The Lord ransoms the life of his servants. And not only
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a scene in the classic Monty Python comedy, The Life of Brian, where Jesus stands on a rocky hill speaking to the multitudes gathered below. And some distance away stands another small group bickering among themselves and so can't quite make out his words. At one point, one man asked another, what, what did he just say? I think he said, blessed are the cheese makers, the other replies. Blessed are the cheese makers, a nearby woman cries. What's so special about cheese makers? The scene is good for a laugh, but listen. Jesus might not have said, blessed are the cheese makers, but what he did say probably sounded equally relig uh, ridiculous to his actual listeners, and no less ridiculous to us today. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who mourn, who are hungry and thirsty. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are those who are persecuted, and perhaps strangest of all, Blessed are the peacemakers. Peacemakers. Those who make peace, who are in the business of peace. Peacemaking is not a passive term. It's not giving in or a simple refusal to fight. Peacemaking is something one does through action, deliberately. And it isn't popular making peace, even though one could argue that there should always be a lot of demand for that kind of work. But people tend to think of peacemakers as a little weird, dreamy idealists, ineffective, maybe even crazy. Peacemaking, working for reconciliation, making broken things whole, could be dangerous. 
likely to fail. And who'd want that? It seems a futile action. Jesus' career was mostly about action, even though there are lots of verses in the Gospels that are concerned with his words. But his words always come after and in light of his actions. Jesus healed people. He made them whole. And this was so wonderful, so desperately needed, that people came from everywhere and brought their friends and their family and their neighbors to Jesus. They hauled them out of their beds or the ditches they were dying in and brought them to Jesus so that Jesus would make them whole. And so there's a discourse about blessedness, this pronouncement of the Beatitudes comes out of the work of Jesus among the broken people of this world. The poor, the meek, the grieving, the hungry for food and hungry for justice, the oppressed and persecuted, and also the peacemakers. They, Jesus said, they are blessed. And we should see these people through that lens. And then Jesus makes a surprising turn. You, you too are blessed. You are blessed when people dismiss you or taunt you or revile you when you work to make peace. When they think that you are out of touch with reality or working to be merciful. When they shun you for striving for justice. When they laugh at you for your idealism. Because peacemaking, mercy giving, comforting, justice doing are the actions that Jesus holds up to us as blessed. Making people and their communities whole, healing their woundedness. That's the work that Jesus gives us to do. That's what he was telling us as he spoke these words from the mountain. We always read a form of the Beatitudes on the Feast of All Saints. Jesus didn't really say anything about saints, but I can imagine that he might say, blessed are the saints. See how they acted courageously. See how they acted faithfully. They were willing to be thrown to the lions. They were willing to stand up to power mongers. They were willing to give away all their possessions. They were willing to live and work among lepers. They were willing to persist in translating the gospel using only one finger because that was the only part of their body that still worked. <laughs> Blessed are they when they acted in ways that other people might find futile or even crazy. And if Jesus were here today, then he would make the turn right here in this room and say, blessed are you. Blessed are you when you act courageously and faithfully, even when people think you are crazy and tell you your actions are, future, are futile. Blessed are you when other people think you are weird for mercy granting for justice doing, for peace making, because everybody knows that won't help you get ahead in life. Blessed are you when, you when people think you are dreaming when you do the work of peacemaking and others treat you badly for it, when they think that you are out of touch with reality for wanting to be merciful, when they mock you for working for justice and laugh at your idealism. But indeed, blessed are you, says the Prince of Peace, for this is how you will show the world what the kingdom of heaven looks like.
seated. Candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? You renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? And this is for all of us here. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us stand and join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. <laughs> you believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe in Jesus Christ, the God the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will God myself. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God and Christ? I will, Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, Now let us pray for these persons who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayers. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayers. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayers. Teach them to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayers. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and grace. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. 
In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to you in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to be seated. Anel Middleton, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Donnell, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Receive this light as a sign, or this, yeah, receive this light as a sign of the new life which has been enkindled in you. Amen. Michael Arthur, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Michael, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Receive this light as a sign of the new life which has been enkindled in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome to hold her. Hello. Hello. Hi. You want to see this water? You want to see? Can we put some on your head? Margaret Helen, I baptize you in the name of the Father. <coughs> And of the Son, I know, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Margaret Helen, you are sealed, or marked, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Receive this light as a sign of the new life which has been enkindled in you. Amen. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon these, your servants, the forgiveness of sin and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal peace. Please stand as you're able. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We share a sign of peace with one another.
Good morning and welcome to all of you. This morning. We're delighted that you are here with us on this Feast of All Saints, one of the great feast days of the church. It's wonderful to see you all here. If you are new or visiting, especially if you're visiting in support of these, our Jewish Christians, we especially welcome you. Love for you to fill out a visitor card, which you'll find in the pew in front of you. Drop it, uh, um, drop it in the uh, collection plate as it comes by. That's a way that we can help get to know you a little better and hopefully include you in our life together. So please do that as you are able. You'll see a number of announcements in your bulletin. Uh, one of them is that the Thanksgiving food drive is beginning. And so you'll find these bags out in the narthex. And please take one home with you. You'll see in the e-chimes and in the, in the um, bulletin the list of food that we are asked to bring to um, back to here to the church for Thanksgiving Day to be blessed, and then we'll take them over to feed more. Last year, apparently, we brought the most food that any of the churches brought to feed more for Thanksgiving, so naturally we want to do that again. So please do um, contribute as you are able. We also hope that you have made your pledge. If so, thank you very much to make, for making your investment in the mission and ministry of this parish. And if you have not yet, your pledge cards are in the narthex, or you may have gotten one in the mail, or you can pledge online, which more and more people are doing now to make electronic pledges and electronic contributions. So um, visit our website for that if you would like. We're also um, looking for vestry nominations, um, and so there are instructions about that. The Taste of St. James's is coming. You'll see that in your bulletin. And then um, especially I would like to mention that there is a service of lament around gun violence this afternoon at 5.30 at St. Thomas's on the north side. So um, some of us will be there and hope that you can join us for that service of lament as we join others around Richmond to share our grief with God while standing firm in God's promises about bringing about a better world without gun violence. I'd like to introduce the Reverend Robin Teasley. There she is back here in the back. You'll be seeing Robin with us um, three Sundays a month in November and December while Blake is away on paternity leave. So we appreciate Robin coming to be with us during, she'll be with us Christmas Eve um, as well. So we are happy to welcome her to our number. A reminder about communion, you are all welcome. We have um, prayer, or the communion will be here at the altar. If you would like to pray with a priest, Robin will be in the chapel, um, and you can go, and she can say a prayer with you if you have birthday or anniversary, or if there's some something that you would like to pray about, um, we can do that. And then as a reminder, the way the way communion goes is that you can, you'll receive the bread from Amelia, and um, there's three things that you can do after that. One is that the bread is all you're going to have, and that is a complete and holy communion if you would prefer not to receive the wine. If you do receive the wine, two options. One is to drink from, from the, uh, the chalice, and so Christy and, and Mike will have that as the, the chalices, and then I'll have a third chalice with just a tiny bit of wine in it for intinction. So if you would like to intink, you just hold up your wafer and I'll come to you. I'll take the wafer, dip it in the wine, and give it back to you. Um, this is a practice that we are all going to across the Episcopal Church in an effort to be healthy and to make sure that we don't have a lot of different fingers going into the chalice. So, um, hope that makes sense. So again, welcome. We are delighted that you are here with us today. Let us continually offer to God the sacrifice of praise, that is the fruit of lips which acknowledge his name. But do not neglect to do good and share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God.
Almighty God, we remember before you this day all your faithful servants who have died in the past year. And we pray that having opened to them the gates of larger life, you will receive them more and more into your joyful service, that with all who have faithfully served you in the past, they may share in the eternal victory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today we remember especially Mary Lee Allen, Doris Altland, Hunter Ellis Babin, David Barnett, Marjorie McLeod Woods Benedict, George Campbell Bird, Anne Norman Blair, Susan Bird Blanchard, Wayne Blanchard, Jack Bowling, Charlie Booth, Anne Southall Bowles, Aurelia Uger, Rutherford Brown, Mary P. Polly and Robert S. Bobby Buford, Robert S. Rob Buford Jr., Clayton Howell Boyer, Butch Butler, Catherine Gabriel Carey, Pat Cavanaugh, Harrison Koval, Carrie Coleman, Faraby Cooper, Elizabeth Betty Broadus Cox, Benjamin Dennis IV. Antoinette Donovan, Elizabeth Warman Drake, Wilbert Drummond, Benjamin Jamie Duffy, Marshall H. Earl Jr., Tommy Edwards, Ruth Ann Aliades, Harvey Blair Fahrenholt, Sam and Rachel Ferris, Ronald Flo, Marjorie Mert Northen Folks, Anne Garrow, Jude Cornelius Harris Jr., Elizabeth Lolly Harrington, Billy Grace Howell, Sean Jackson, Mr. and Mrs. Charles Dimmock Jen Jenkins, Monty White Jenkins, Thomas Keeker, Jean LaPierre, James Pleasant Massey III, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Gathright Massey, Matt Maddox, Linda W. Mays, Eve McCray, Keith McMullen, Willard and Inez McPherson, Edwin B. Meade, Jr., G. Gilmer Minor III, Mark Muller, J.D. Monk, Jane Neal, John Neal, Buck Paul, A.L. Philpot, Carol Philpot, Kitty Philpot, Lee Philpot, Carol Pearsall, Peter Powell, Rick Price, David Caldwell Reynolds, Wallace Say, Ann Seymour, Richard Shannon, Ann Paul Sennett. Ann Price, Sisson, Renzo Smith, Henry Spalding Jr., David Spidell Jr., Cameron Swindle, the Reverend David Teschner, Virginia Bell Trice, Henry Lee Valentine II, Hudnall Ware IV, Patricia Ware, John Warman, Lisa Rumsey Weatherford, Virginia Taylor, Stevenson Wilkinson, E. Otto N. Williams Jr., Henry Williams, Jane Lawson Willis, Sam Witt, Susie Witter, Garrett Wood, Edward Wyatt, Andrew, and Cowboy. Eternal Lord God, who holds all souls in life, give to your whole church in paradise and on earth your light and your peace, that following the good examples of those who have served you on earth and are now at rest, all of us may at the last enter with them into your unending joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The great Thanksgiving and Eucharistic prayer B begins on page 367 in your Book of Common Prayer or in your bulletin. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us and together with them receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember, we remember his death, death, we proclaim his resurrection, resurrection. we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with the blessed Virgin Mary, blessed James, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
you stand or kneel and join in praying our post-communion prayer. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as our members through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have us through your children, as a sacrament of our body and blood. Send us now into the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve. Would stand as you are able for the blessing. Life is short and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.